Eric. Yo, what's up? What's up, man? Thank you. For Listen to that. You're on it, dude. You were on it. You had the stream up. I heard the volume kick in, but you knocked it down quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. How's it going? It's going good, man. I I'm level 20 now, so I'm making some progress. Cool. Uh, I've My friends have joined me. I've got Rachel and Kevin here now. Oh, how's it going? Yeah. I met, uh, I met Rachel at Game Days, I believe, last yeah. year. Yeah. You remember, cool. you remember Eric from Game Days? I remember Eric from Game Days and all the videos from Game Days. Yes. So, cool. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to get out there next year. I think that's going to be like my one big, it's going to be my one big traveling thing for the rest of the year, I think. Go out, see some, see some Mega 64 fans and see some of uh, old LA peeps too. And things like that. That's good. Uh, Game days, 2014. 14. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, I've just been uh, checking in and out with this in the background and I'm really enjoying it. I'm trying to like do some, I'm doing some weird casting stuff for a student film and uh, I, I've just been for an hour, I have been trying to figure out how to, I have this, I'm doing a student film where I have a character where the guy looks at this girl and every time he looks at her, she starts making more and more explicit gestures. Explicit gestures as in like sexual gestures? Sexual, yes. Ex sexual. Whoa. Like she, like it starts off where Sexual. She There's an S in there so you say it. Yes, there is. Uh, no, but e no, but um... Not a sexual slur though. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, just uh, sexual suggestion. Yeah. Not a sexual slur. Okay, good. No, sexual suggestion. Good. And uh, the two, and the only two people uh, that responded said, "Hey, I'd love to audition for you, but they'd have to be a video audition." And so I have to kind of explain to them, oh. "Yeah, I need a video of you doing these acts on oh. video in a Ooh. professional context." That could be and not, not for personal enjoyment. Mm. Uh, sounds like you're shooting a porn there, Eric. Yeah, not for personal enjoyment, for sure. That's what you I should definitely to, tell them. They're like, yeah, I'd love to do this, and I just feel like I have to. If I showed them they have the parts of the script. I just have to, just somehow. What kind of? Did you go to Hustler University? I mean, <laughs> what are they teaching in these classes you're doing? Apparently film or or something. Okay, I get that. I get that. I think sex is a is a is an important part of film. What do you guys think? Yeah. I mean, it's it's jokey, it's silly, and it's goofy. A lot of films have sex in it. Sex is a very it's not it's a very it's, not it's a very even, big part of humanity. Sex. It's not even sex. It's just it's like a seven. It's yeah. like a kid in a classroom. He looks at this girl, and like. He th and she keeps making these gestures at him and she thinks and he thinks she's doing it at him and then at the end when they break out of class like she like walks up to him she says hey and then give it was really to the girl her friend you're giving dude don't don't give away your whole plot someone's gonna steal I mean, your idea like, make mean, a million of, dollars that's one scene okay that's only one takes, okay takes many pieces to make a puzzle you haven't revealed too much is what you're saying no there's no. n there's nothing in old Gradania for me. You hear me? Nothing. It's fucking ridiculous. Well, there's a there's a shard here. At least I'll teleport out of here. Well, that sounds like quite a predicament. You gotta film this, or you gotta you gotta write them in an email that you want them to. F oh man, maybe having like a phone call would be a little better to explain the, the delicate details. But these are detail. random people and I feel like calling a random person, that's like... Well, they are applying, that's not random if they want to be and in your production. And, and it's weird for me because I'm not paying them to, because it's just like, I'm just gonna feed them and they'll get a copy of it. Feed them, yeah. That's a whole nother sexual thing when you get I've... food involved. Well, there's a I whole mean, fetish, There's I tell you, there's a whole fetish community for it. <laughs> I shit you uh, not. 
It's out there and it's real. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm I'm aware. He's aware. Oh, you know what? I need to go to Ulda. So maybe I take the shard to Ulda. I think that's what I need to do. Let's take that shard. Boom. Oh, I can't target it. Well, my advice, I I, I gotta I gotta go with the phone call. I think you should definitely call them on the phone and explain the details, the finer details. I, th I think I'm just gonna email them and like right. just be up front and say, hey, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, no what if, worries. What if you email first and you say it's it's a it's kind of an explicit thing and, and it'd probably be easier for me to explain well, they know on the phone. Because I gave them the script. They know what it is. Oh. I just have to specify for the audition. Oh I you would not only need you to run your lines. Oh they know. I also need you to What? I would need to see an example of how you would perform this when the when the camera's on you. Well, then I think your work like, is I would, done. Like, wink at the camera. You give a little, uh, you give a little French kiss gesture. French? How now? How exactly does one give a French kiss gesture? That's for them to decide. That's oh. what I need to see. I need to see there, how big. Because I, I know how to do a, a, I know how to blow a kiss in the gesture of a kiss. I would need to see. I would need to see how you like that because it's a comedy, and when you when you want to do comedy, this is this is something I learned from uh, uh, comedy school. Uh, it's this thing called beats, and when you have heightening ones, it gets funnier. So when you start out small and your last one is big, there you go. That's something I learned from the boys, Mega Sixty Four. That, there you that go. Is my comedy school. There you go. You're you're learning tricks from the trade masters themselves, and uh, you're about to set on an excursion of your own. You're about to level up in filmmaking, <laughs> as they say. I know, yeah. No, it's, no it's one really says crazy. that ever, ever. They don't say that. If you were to tell your professor that you're ready to level up in filmmaking, he should, by default, fail you. You know what I mean? I'm gonna tell her I'm ready to, I'm ready to visit a realm, level up in a realm reborn. You're, re you're ready to, to, to reborn your realm in a land of your, I'm having a fucking tough time today. <laughs> oh! All right, Eric, thank you very much for your call. We sure do love you. We'll see you next thank time. Thank you, and thank you again for uh, messaging me. I, I was kind of blown away when you messaged me after my story pig episode came out. Oh yeah. I I recognize you uh, in the uh, MTV Other as a YouTube thing, and, and Doug Leithenhop, aka DJ Lucy Duck Hop. Pound, and no, uh, yeah. my one of my favorite comedians, Duncan no, Trussell. Yeah, he was real. Yeah, he's he's awesome. Yeah, they do this story pig thing that's so far been pretty cool, and uh, you were in one of them, and I totally I was like, oh shit, that's Eric. That's that was cool seeing you recognizing you in that. That was I was kind of blown away because yeah, it was like you guys were doing your Nintendo thing that day, and then like oh shit, this little thing I did a couple months ago is on your rate is on those guys' radar. Oh, so. definitely, and, and you know we've known you because we've recognized you from cons for years now. But you also sent me the dumb Starbucks cups, and you yes. worked on the Nathan For You yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that. That was like two weeks right before we started Nathan, which is coming out next month. But yeah, it's weird because I'm starting. It's weird to see I'm starting up. A, I'm, I have like two personal projects that I'm kind of leading the charge on that I'm starting. And while I'm doing that, Everything, a lot of things I helped out on when I was out in LA the past 10 months are starting to come out. Hell yeah. Kudaragi, Kudaragi's Way, and then, uh, and now Story, Story Pig, and then Nathan next month. That's, yeah, you it's killed really it. exciting. Things You're killing happen. it, man. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you. you for calling, and we will talk to you next week. Absolutely. Right on.